Welcome back, everyone. This is Thomas Triple T Tai with another Nubulish crypto analysis. Let's dig in and check out the market. But before we do, please remember to like, hit subscribe, ring my bell, and also leave comments. And I'll remind you again at the end of the video. That's our trade. All right, let's dive in. The market, crypto market, looks almost all red today. Um, Bitcoin's down, Ethereum's down. Oh, green spot here with ADA. Yay, ADA. ADA's been hanging tough right there at a dollar and five. A dollar. It's a really good purchase for ADA. Um, all right, let's go to the stock market and see the heat map. And also, thanks to Finviz for their uh, heat map here. And uh, this heat map is from Coin Market Cap. St our U.S. stock market is pretty red, and we had some positive earnings uh, previously, and um, it propped them up. But today they're down. Facebook, look at that, down negative twenty five percent. They um, put big bets on uh, the metaverse, and uh, the invest the amount of money they have invested in it has not returned. But that's more a long-term uh, investment for them. I don't know why. I mean, I feel bad for all the people holding Facebook stocks, but I'm not a fan of Facebook and what they do to um, people's mental health. Uh, yeah, pretty much red all over. Um, a few green spots in consumer defensive. Uh, Tesla's up a bit. Baba's up a bit, but United Health, J.P. Morgan, but pretty much red everywhere else let's take a look at the um, our charts let's see here move that uh, all right let's dive into our charts here and take a look at which way the U.S. stock market first. Here we go. Up at the uh, left, we have Bitcoin. This is trading view on the 30 minute time frame. The left green vertical dash line lines represent the previous market opening yesterday. And the current green dash vertical dash line represents today's market opening. Since yesterday, um, Bitcoin has been trending down. And then in the wee early morning of, uh, at least in the U.S. Pacific Standard Time, it started trending up. The reason it was doing that is because the dollar was trending up m most of yesterday and then started trending down uh, early this morning. As the dollar was trending down, Bitcoin went up. The negative correlation continues to hold. As far as the um, U.S. 10-year bonds, it uh, was tra trading pretty much sideways yesterday and then dipped down towards the end of the day. And then um, at market opening, it's picking up again. NASDAQ up in the upper right-hand corner yesterday went sideways. Market open today opened much lower. You can see that on the heat map from uh, the stock market. And then now it's pretty much trending sideways towards the um, lower end here. Yesterday, the um, uh, S&P 500 uh, went slightly up, propelled by some of those, um, um, was it uh, earnings, uh, positive earnings from some companies. But today it opened down. And then now it's going pretty much sideways with a slight down trend similar to the NASDAQ. And I saw this happening last night. I uh, tweeted about it because um, looking at the futures for the NASDAQ, it was trending down last night or early in the morning. The Dow yesterday pretty much went sideways, just crap, crap, crap. Crab, that's not like with a B, not a P. <laughs> just, um, and then today it opened slightly up and then went up for a little bit and then just tanked down. So um, pretty much a um, red day. You can see that on the charts here, as we saw on the heat map. 
Let's go to the other markets. Ooh, we want to change that. Let's go to the European markets. Bitcoin is on the upper left. We have already discussed that. Let's go down to the CAC index from France. Yeah, um, in the last 24 hours, it trended down. And when the U.S. market opened, it continued to trend down. Similarly, over at the DAX index in Germany, trended down yesterday and continue on that downward trend today, at least in Pacific Standard Time. UK 100 index trended down yesterday and continue to trend down. So European market looks like it's trending down into the toilet. Bummer. Okay, let's go to the Asian markets and see. Happy Lunar New Year to some of you out there who celebrate it. It's the third day. If you didn't know, in some cultures, um, the Lunar New Year is celebrated for three days, not one. Again, Bitcoin's on the upper left-hand corner. Down below that is the stocks, S-T-O-X-X, 600. That's 600 companies across seven countries. What has it been doing? It In the last 24 hours, it trended down. It, it's similar to Bitcoin and then continues to trend down. So this is very similar to the European indexes. The SPDR, SNP uh, index from Australia, uh, we have it trending pretty much sideways in the last 24 hours and it continues to do so presently the nikkei and nikkei index from japan uh it's been yesterday it's been trending upward slightly and then down then just consolidated sideways so uh, overall if you look at it this from this point here like let's say 131 it's been kind of going sideways on average the uh, kospi index in south korea it's been it started it opened up again so it's been trending up and then just down down in the last um this is a 30 minute time frame so last uh in their last hour and a half or so they um, trended down but they went up they opened up again the hang Seng hong kong index i believe they're still closed for lunar new year because they're still stuck back here at um, the end of january so we haven't seen anything here yet so that pretty much takes care of the stock markets around the world as compared to um, our cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. Um, summary, one of you asked for summary, so here it is. Uh, overall, looking pretty bearish. Uh, crypto is red, stock markets are red, and uh, guess what? When the things are going down, it's a good opportunity to build wealth. Wealth is built from the bottom. Richness is built at the top when we realize our profits. So if you can shift your mind to think like that, times like this would be a little bit better. I know it is tough for some people. With that, if you found this of value, hit the like, ring my bell, and hit subscribe if you haven't. Peace and see you later in the next video later today.